You know, I've seen a lot of vacation homes, and I've always wondered, what do the people's real home look like? Well, I want for nothing now, because here I am at Marsha and Ron Thompson's primary residence in Savannah, Georgia, and I must say, Savannah has got to be one of America's most alluring cities. It was designed by James Oglethorpe in 1733, and his goal was to build America's first planned city, mixing business, residence, and lots of beautiful parks. Not only do Marsha and Ron have a historical home here, which I can't show you because they're not here. They're at their vacation home. <laughs> but they also have one of Savannah's most famous family-owned restaurants, which is where I will be having lunch at later. So where does a Savannah resident and business owner have a vacation home? Tybee Island, Georgia. Tybee Island is only about 17 miles from Savannah. So think about it. In the same amount of time it takes us to go to the grocery store and buy a gallon or two of ice cream, Marsha and Ron are already on vacation. Marsha? Hi, Sam. I'm on the porch. Come have something cool to drink. Hey. Oh, good. It's quite humid out there. Yes, Any moment, my hair's just going to go... <laughs> thank you. What a wonderful place you have. Oh, thank you. So glad you're here. Yeah, it's so great that it's so close to your regular home. Yes, it is. We come sometimes in the afternoon just for dinner. Mm -hmm. So was remodeling and restoring this home a pleasant experience? or? It really was. There were a lot of fun things we could do to help with the restoration of the house. A lot of searching and old junk shops and architectural details. Uh, stores and coming up with mantles and newel posts and, and a lot of details that added to what was here. Mm -hmm. That was a really fun part for me, trying to make the old, add to the old and blend some of the old with the new. Mm -hmm. Your family also owns a business together. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the restaurant is called Mrs. Mrs. Wilkes? Mrs. Wilkes Boarding House and um, my grandmother started it in 43. So she's been there for a while. She's still there working? Mm -hmm. And she's still there every day. I hope you'll get to meet her. I hope people tip her well. My <laughs> gosh. <laughs> well, she's um, well photographed. Mm -hmm. And um, she sits on in the corner and, and sells her cookbook uh -huh. and uh, greets all of the, the diners. And, and it's know, a family-style really restaurant. Yes. You, have, you have long tables. Well, they're, they're sort of um, oval tables. Mm -hmm. They seat about oh. 10 people each. Mm -hmm. It's really... Um, a bit of the past that's, mm -hmm. that's still still there for the moment anyway. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, I think I better get to work. I'd love for you to have a look around the house. Mm -hmm. Great. And then I'm going to meet you at the restaurant for lunch. That'll be tonight. perfect. Yeah, I'm excited. This porch wraps around the home. Right now I'm in the front, and I would just love to have a front porch. Might be a little difficult with my apartment, but I would get rocking chairs and I'd have a ceiling fan. And in the tradition of seacoast homes, you gotta name your home. Marsha and Ron named theirs after the famous Pat Conroy novel. But this is what sold the home to Marsha. This view, if you open the door and look down the hallway and you see the river. There's some really neat pieces of furniture in this hallway, like this hat rack. Over here, this is a buffet table. And behind that is a bureau. But because the ceilings are high and the walls are painted white, you don't have the feeling that it's at all cluttered. This is the main room, and it used to be three separate rooms. Then Marsha and Ron knocked out all the walls. They added that pretty arch so that the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room would all open up to see that river view. And the room is a brilliant yellow. And experts say that the color yellow stimulates. And it's true, I feel very excited right now. I'm very excited about uh, how the color just accentuates the white woodwork of the French doors. Hear this trimming along the fireplace, the picture windows. And the blues in this room also accentuate it. Uh, Marcia loves this type of pattern. These are tiles from Amsterdam that one of her best girlfriends brought back there. She laid them around the fireplace. And Marcia collects uh, this blue willow china. She has platters, plates. Oh, I have to tell you about this. See, this is more of Marcia's collection, but I didn't know that it was called blue willow at first. And so I asked Marcia, what are these? And she said, those are lids. You ask a simple question, you get a simple answer. Ron and Marcia are in the restaurant business, so it's interesting to find out how their kitchen is and 
well, it's pretty normal. <laughs> they've got a stove, they've got a microwave, a refrigerator, but they have food everywhere out to be eaten, like these pomegranates. These are actually real. These are from Marsha's grandmother's tree, and they're beautiful. Over there, some fruit, that's all real. These are fake, fake lemons, don't eat. And ooh, a cake. Now, one would think that it would be rude to take a bite out of a cake that hasn't been cut yet. <laughs> this is what we do. This is how we get around that. We just take a little sliver from the bottom, brush aside like that, close the lid. No one knows. Hmm. This is a cookbook from their restaurant. And uh, I got to level with you. Uh, I know this is a show about vacation homes, but <laughs> I love to eat. I love to go to restaurants, and I love to eat much, 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 much. So I'm just going to breeze through the home so we can go eat, OK? Let's go. I love this stairway. This banister is from an old home in Savannah that burnt to the ground. It was owned by one of Marsha's friends, Roseanne, and this is the only piece that made it. Isn't that sad? But the walls are yellow, so now I'm happy. Up here used to be dark, gloomy attic space. But Marsha and Ron put in this stairwell and opened it up into a bright, vibrant room. Isn't it cute? See, then the monsters and the goonies have to move out. But you know, I don't know. They might like the couch. But now this is where I would be. Yep, this would be my space. I'd come out here with some tea, cookies, some shrimp dip, and I would just enjoy the view. And every so often, dolphins come to the river and play. So I'm going to wait and watch the dolphins. Lunch. I've made it. Yeah. My stomach is so upset at me right now. Oh, this is so great. The food's already on the table for you. You just dig in. I don't know what it is, but I'll eat it. Wait, wait, wait. We <laughs> we've got to work before we can eat. There's no free lunch here. How do you do? I'm Ronnie, Marsha's husband. Oh, hi. I like Good. your home. Well, thank you. Good to see you. Why don't you come join me in the kitchen and we'll show you how we prepare everything. Oh, that's okay. I was just going to eat. No, no. Come. You have to work for your lunch here. Um, okay. Please come join me in the kitchen. Okay. What am I doing? Well, Cecilia's going to show you how we fix Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? All Maybe right. You better put this on. Oh. Don't the uniform. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought I was just going to eat. <laughs> and here I have to work. Yeah. So what am I doing? I'm going to make some um, souffle. Souffle? Yeah. Sweet potato Sweet souffle? Sweet potato souffle. But I need, this is the ground cinnamon. Put some of that in there? Yeah. Can we put a lot? Just tell me when. No, no. Oh. oh. That's fine. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. This looks great. Okay. I don't know what they're eating, but I, I'm just going to take this out with a spoon. Okay, now mash it. And mash it. Ron won't buy a big, huge kitchen mixer? <laughs> no. Jeez. By hand. My gosh. This is medieval. <laughs> <laughs> I think that you should just, you know, put on some plastic socks and just <laughs> mess, just stand on it. When do you know uh, you're done? When, when you're exhausted or <laughs> when you're like, I quit. Ron's laughing at me. He's like free labor. Yeah, but it's so slow. <laughs> I'd love to. I've got four hours and a 10 gallon drum of mashed <laughs> sweet potatoes. I ain't moving. So good. The coconut, I think, is the key for me. <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> Hello. I'm 
made this. This is Margie Martin. This is uh, Marsha's mother. And uh, she is an integral part here at Mrs. Wilkes. And she put all the recipes together in the book, in the recipe book. And she also spends a lot of time in the vacation home because it is a family vacation home, right? You go there with everyone, the kids. This is the lady, the reason why we're all here, Mrs. Wilkes. You're a pretty special woman. How long have you been doing this? Too long. Too long. <laughs> I don't know how many years actually you've been here. 55. 55? Unbelievable. Have the recipes changed at all? No. More. Keep adding to it. Uh huh. Yes, I can tell. I can tell that. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Marsha. Hi. Hi. Thank you. So glad you finally so got to have lunch. I did, and I met your mom. Good. Oh, the woman behind it all. There you go. And she was telling me that a lot of uh, the furniture in your vacation home is hers. Oh, that's right. But that's that's right. a lot of her lovely things in there, too. Isn't it great? And, you, and the family enjoys it all, and then you come here and, sure and work a hard day. And then, and then go back and have fun. Sounds good to me. And Ron, you know, put me to work. Yes, I heard you had to work for your lunch. I do, but I'm expecting but some I heard tips. you did a great job. Yes, I did. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Come again. I will. Yeah.